Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey. Oh, I always forget the girl. My name is Stacey if anybody is new and joining me here for the first time. Um, today's makeup is, well basically I'm killing two birds with one stone. It's my friend's um, like birthday dinner today that I'm going to and I have to film this video today so I was like oh I know what I'll do. I'll just do two videos. Well do the video and then have my makeup done for tonight. So um, I have decided to use blue again because it's not really a colour that I use that often but I feel like I could do it in a different way to the way that I did it last time because it was really bold and I want to show you kind of like basically how I do my makeup when I go out which is probably a lot less I say that now and they'll be my famous last words won't they because we all know what I'm like when I start but generally I don't really wear that much makeup when I go out <laughs> yeah so anyway I'm gonna get straight into the makeup let's get cracking Whoa, that was a neck crack. Chiropractor, here I come. The huge 24 hour brow setter and brush up struggalina. Also guys, let me know um, if you prefer me just holding up the product rather than inserting a still picture. Um, it makes editing way easier for me because I don't have to, it's basically, it's um, it's a lot of work to put those stills in and I feel like it's much more natural just for me to say this is what I'm using so anyway brows are on then we are going to go into the cover effects power play foundation in G100 I do some squiggles oh cover effects power play so I do some squiggles and then I just buff it on like this So my man's just having a nap, which he pretty much always does when I do my tutorials. And oh Lord, did he need to have a nap today? I think that's why like God makes children have naps is so you don't kill them. Because if they were awake all day, whew, whew, he has been so mischievous and really, really, really testing my patience today. So I am very glad that he's having a nap. And even though generally it means I don't really have any free time when I do videos because he will tend to wake up as soon as I finish and then I have to go back into mum mode. But I'm so happy he's asleep right now because he's been a little bit naughty today. Um, my Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation in Chestnut number nine. It's the colour that I use on my jaw. Actually, I watched my last video and I didn't explain this properly. So my jawline is slightly... <sighs> Slightly. <laughs> my jawline is slightly darker than like my cheeks. So in order to balance that out, I need a warmer foundation, which is why I use this because it's slightly more red than my skin and it helps just to balance everything out. I didn't explain that very well in my last video. When I watched it, I was like, Stace, even you're confused and you're the one who said it. So how about you explain that again? And then I just buff this all in. Then I'm taking my NARS, maybe I should do it a bit slower. Then I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. My, my like go-to, I pretty much use the same thing base-wise in every video. I find that if I really like something, I generally tend to stick to it. I'm not really one for having like seven different types of foundation on the go at once. So I just like to find one that I like and use that all the time. And I don't really believe in like having different uh, foundations for different occasions. You know that like people have like a day foundation that they wear during the day or they have like a going out foundation. I just use the same thing all the time. I might vary how much I put on. Most of the time, most of the time in the daytime, I don't really wear anything, but um, yeah, I don't think it's necessary. I love, I love how my skin looks. Like these products just work so well for my complexion. Don't know if my light is too white. Hmm. Pause. I think that's better. It was looking a little bit white on my face. I don't, I haven't really been using my light a lot recently. I've just been relying on natural daylight. And the clouds have given me like the most perfect filter today. The most perfect so soft box, should I say. And just this side of my face is a little bit dark. So I got my light out for that. Probably nobody cares. So let's keep going. Right, for brows. I'm gonna go back to my Benefit Brow 
pencil and this one is called Precisely My Brow, looks like this. And the colour I use is number five. So I'm just going to softly fill in my brows. Okay, brows on. And then, hmm, do I do a little brow highlight today? Yeah, I think I am going to. I think I will. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of my concealer again and just sculpt out my brows a little bit more. Then I'm going to take some of this Tom Ford shade and illuminate and I'm only going to use the illuminator. And I'm just going to add this highlight to my skin. On um, Sunday, on my live, somebody asked me a question about highlighter and I am definitely in the cream highlighter camp. It's my favourite to use. I just think it looks the best on skin. On brown girls especially, I prefer cream. So I'm just patting that in. Then I'm going to go back to my foundation brush and just soften this all together. Now, this highlighter colour is not golden. And that is because I'm doing a cool toned makeup today. I do not like warm highlighter with cool tone makeup. I don't think it makes any sense. So that's why I picked this colour today. But just so you can see the colour of it. Yeah, it's this, uh, well, there you go. This white colour is what I've used as my highlight today. Okay, so now for eyes. I love shadow sticks and I don't think I use them. Do I use them in my videos? Mm, maybe I don't. Even if I don't or I do, I just want to tell you that I like using shadow sticks because they're really, really easy. But I want to put in like my crease and stuff first before I go into colour. And I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it. So I'm taking my Bobbi Brown nude palette, which we all know that I love. And I'm going to take a little fluffy brush and just pop in my crease. So I'm using a colour called Milk Chocolate. And I'll show you that. It is this colour here. And I'm just using that for my crease colour today. I have like a few different palettes down here that I felt like I could possibly use for this makeup. As usual, I'm not really, really sure what I'm going to do, but I have a rough idea of how I want it to look in the end. I just want a soft, blue, sparkly, yeah, smoky eye. Then, I am going to use two different colours today. One is Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Sapphire, and this one is one that I just got recently, and it's... Um, Rosie Huntington Whiteley's makeup collection from Marks and Spencers. And the colour I am using is. Oh. Doesn't have a name. That's weird. Doesn't have a name on it. It's so bizarre, but it's this gunmetal grey colour. So I'm going to swatch them on my hands for you. So this is the Rosie Huntington Whiteley. It's like a silvery gunmetal colour. And then the Laura Mercier Sapphire colour is this beautiful blue. I need to get better at swatching. There we go. Now you can really see the colours. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the blue one first. Oh, and I need a smaller mirror. And then just run this all over my eyelid. Now the reason why I like cream shadows is you can see they're really easy to put on, like super, super easy. I used to use paint pots quite a lot, you know, like the jars of cream shadow, but I find that they dry out faster than the sticks. And then you always need, like, for hygiene reasons when I'm working, I have to scrape the product out and use it, and then I end up wasting a lot of the product because... 
I can't put it back in. Whereas with a stick, I can just sanitize it, draw on someone's face and then it's fine. So I prefer the sticks, they're lighter in terms of weight because the cream shadows are often in glass pots. Yeah, and I just like them. I love them because they're really long wearing as well. And I like the fact that they kind of go over makeup really easily. So a lot of the time, like if I've got a client, maybe like a bride or something, and I'm having to change her makeup for the evening, I'll always use like a cream product over the first look that we've done. And it just, yeah, it just works. So I like these a lot. Oh, that looks nice. Hmm. I think I like blue. Oh, I really like that. Why haven't I worn this before? I've had this for so long. Mm. It's so funny. This is one thing I love about doing YouTube. It makes me like think outside my general box because I am definitely a creature of habit when it comes to makeup. I generally tend to do the same kind of looks on myself all the time because I know they're, they're nice, right? I know they're gonna work and I feel good in them. But doing YouTube makes me try new things and sometimes I'm really pleasantly surprised by what I discover so like I would never ever pick this blue and I love it with this grey oh gosh that's so nice how pretty is that so lovely oh so nice okay so I've also got my Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette here there's so many things I want to put on my face at once today basically and I need to like check myself because let's be realistic I have two eyelids not seven but I also want to use my deeply dashing pigment now this is one of my favorite if not okay yeah this and tempting eyeshadow both from MAC are like my favorite ride or die eyeshadows uh, this would be like my going out eyeshadow and Tempting would be like my more basic everyday type of eyeshadow But they both always just look pretty and really effortless on my complexion. I think anyway um, They have discontinued this product, but that doesn't stop me from wearing it So I'm gonna see if I can find you a dupe But in my eyes, there's nothing like this But I'll see if I can find you a dupe and leave it in the description box But I just love how this um, eyeshadow looks on me um, It's broken <laughs> so it's in the sample pot. Let me see if I can, if the camera can pick that up. Yeah, it's broken in little pieces in here. But the other day I found I had another one of these pots, so it's gonna last me way, way longer than I initially thought. And I always use my finger to put it on because it just goes on easier than with a brush. Even when it was in the actual pan it came in, I still always use my finger. Oh, look at it. Why did they stop making this? It's so nice. You need to make sure that it's on your finger quite smooth because if it's on your finger patchy, it will go on your eye patchy as well. I, I really like it. I really like it. Oh, yes. Okay, so now I'm just going to do a slightly deeper colour in the corner of my eye and I am going to go into my Naked palette. Sorry for using different palettes, but I bought them. That's kind of what they're for, so... I'm gonna take another little brush and I'm going to use the color Smolder. So this is the Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette and the color I'm going to use is this one here, Smolder. It's, it's like a purpley charcoal color. And I'm gonna mix it with Dagger, which is this color here. Yeah, that color, this one, oh no, yeah, that one which is like a blue charcoal-y colour, a bit lighter. And I'm just going to pop that in the outer corner. Just here. Okay, Amanda's woken up really, really early from his nap. I'm going to go and try and settle him, and I will be back. Okay, he's back to sleep. So where was I? I was blending, wasn't I? Then I'm going to take some Swish Chocolate, because we all know I love this blush as a crease colour, and just use it to soften everything. Okay, so I think I want to create a little bit of smokiness underneath. So I'm taking the shadow stick again, the sapphire, the blue one from Laura Mercier, 
and I am going to just smoke up my lash line a tiny bit here. And I'm keeping most of the intensity of colour on the corner of my eye. Do you remember what I said about not wearing that much makeup? Yeah, that's gone out of the window. Now I'm taking a um, feline coal pencil, it's just a black coal pencil from MAC, and I'm working that into the real corner of my eye. And I'm going to smudge that in as well. Okay, I'm going to take the coal pencil and work it into my lash line, just on the inside. Okay, what I really want to use is my Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. I don't know where I've put it and I really don't have time to look for it because Amanda has already woken up once, which means he could wake up any minute again. So I'm just taking a black gel liner. It's the Maybelline Lasting Gel Drama Liner in black. And I'm just going to do the thinnest, am I blocking the camera like this? No, the thinnest line at the base of my lash line. Okay, so then I want an inner corner highlight today. I feel like I deserve one. I'm going to use Slanted, which is this blue gray. It looks really silver here, but it's like a blue gray. I'm gonna use that color. And see what happens. It should look like a highlight in here. Yeah, it does, but really soft, which is perfect. Oh, I love this makeup today. I'm having so much fun. Like this video and the one that I just did, the one before this, I'm really like really enjoying myself, which is brilliant. Yeah, and I'm going to use a tiny bit of this colour called High. And just pop that over the top. Cool. Okay, I'm happy with my eyes. I am now going to just put my mascara on. So I'm going to start off with my extended play from MAC, which is like my base um, mascara. And it's going to be top and bottom today. Then, actually I'm going to let that set first. I'm going to move on to blush. And I'm going to use high drama. No, it's not high drama. Oh lady. Um, retro matte liquid lipstick from MAC and I am going to use a little brush and just work this onto my cheek with blusher now I don't know why I always take so much product out on my hand because I know I'm not going to use that much but it's just a bad habit but I love this colour so I'm going to work that onto my cheek I really love using liquid lipstick as blush yeah, that's really pretty, I like that. Okay, let's do the other side. And now I can go back and finish my mascara. So I'm going to use my um, Caution Mascara from Hourglass again. <laughs> two more, two more things to do and then we're done. Right, first thing is going to be powder. So I'm using my Cover FX, oh yeah, show you guys, <laughs> Cover FX matte setting powder in the colour deep and I've spent quite a bit of time like placing highlight and stuff on my face I don't want to powder everywhere so but I kind of powder the same time the same way sorry every time I do my makeup so I like to definitely get the seven head always down the sides of the nose because who wants to be shiny here never sexy under the eye it's a bit big this brush for under the eye but i've already started so i'm going to finish i've started so i'm going to finish where's that from mastermind isn't it um i'm going to do the tip of my nose because i don't like shiny tips on noses but i kind of like the bridge highlights that i've put in so i'm going to leave that in and then i'm just going to go under the cheek so along the jaw And just skim the edges of my blush. Yeah, that's it. 
and then last but not least so this is it a hack it's not really a, maybe it is a hack for some people but for me if I know that I'm going out to dinner most of the time I never wear a strong lip because who's got time what well, it takes me ages to do my lips anyway because they're so massive but then who's got time to reapply lipstick all night and then I don't like the idea of eating lipstick so I just generally don't wear them so I'm going to show you a really really simple lip it's these two buff lip gloss from Bobbi Brown and Fenty Glow gloss bomb from Fenty Beauty and I just wear these so oh actually I might just wear buff on its own today mm, nah the mixologist in me cannot help herself she's like no Stace this is not you, just mix them, this is what you do. So you could just wear this <laughs> colour on its own, but I want to wear the two of them together. Oh, what has Amanda done to my lip gloss? Why is it blue on the end? Right, let's wipe that off. That child. Yeah, there's like, <laughs> I don't know what he did. Or how he did it but he's managed to get this gloss and make the end of it like dark blue <sighs> oh, sir. okay and then this one on the top and then just press them together and that's it so guys there you have it I, re I know I said that like a gazillion times today but I never really wear blue it's not really a color that I ever reach for but I love how I've done it today because it's a very subtle use of color so if you have an aversion to a particular colour, like you can play with it and layer it underneath things that you're more comfortable with and then create a look that you're really happy with. I love how this makeup has turned out today. I love everything about it. I like the fact that I can wipe off my lip gloss and reapply it without a mirror and I don't have to worry about when I'm eating that that's going to be a problem or have lipstick on my teeth. I also just like how sparkly it is. I love how my skin looks, but I love these products. That's why I use them in every video because I think they make my skin look the best. I still feel like it looks like me, which is always, always, always what I'm going for. Like I never want to take off my makeup room for people to be like, oh, really? That's what you look like? I don't think anyone, well, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be too opinionated, but I really don't think anyone should feel the need to completely transform how they look with makeup. I think it's it's um, it's magic and the specialness, which I know isn't a word, but that's what I'm going to run with today. The specialness of makeup is the fact that it can enhance people's beauty. And that's what I love about it. So, yeah, I'm really happy with how this makeup turned out. And now I'm ready to go up for my friend's dinner, which is perfect. Oh, I forgot to say, yes, I do live Get Ready With Me's on Sunday mornings at 9.30 GMT. I will leave my Instagram handle for you here. And that's it let me know what you think please leave me a comment or a suggestion um follow me on my instagram if you don't already have a wonderful rest of the day and i'll see you guys soon take care bye